So we're going to talk about, now that we've got our simulation, we're going to start looking at some of the output information that we've got. So we're going to discuss the simulated input plots on, in this lecture. Okay, so like I said, you've worked through the simulation, you've got your stage frequency curve, so now, now kind of what do you do with it? Um, you could just take it and run and move on, but hopefully you actually kind of look through a few of the things. So it's important to investigate a little bit behind what is impacting the shape of your curve so you can at least document and understand and explain to others uh, what it's sensitive to. So so in RFA, it has you know several built-in ways to investigate the simulation results. So we're going to look through the simulated input plots, like I just said. So there's the three categories. We'll cover the sensitivity plots and the routed hydrograph plots in, next, in the next few lectures. So the simulated input plots display the actual sampled values for each input parameter for every single realization. So whether you run a single realization or you run the 10,000 realizations for all full sensitivity all full for the full uncertainty analysis all right so first step where do we get this information all right so next to the frequency curve plot there is the simulated input plots tab so when you first investigate uh, navigate to this tab it, it's going to be empty um, until you select one of the input parameters from the drop down menu um, and then it'll populate a uh, it'll populate the plot so the input parameters you can select are the volume frequency curve, the volume frequency curve parameters, the flood seasonality, the stage, starting stage duration, and the inflow hydrographs. So these plots will show us um, all the sampled input parameters generated in your simulation. All right. The first simulated input plot type we will examine is, of course, the volume frequency curve. When you select the volume frequency curve, uh, simulated, simulated input plots, you can examine all 10,000 volume frequency curves developed in the outer loop of the RFA stochastic simulation. So in this plot, you can see the first volume frequency curve generated in this simulation. Um, the user-defined volume curve is shown in black, and the sampled one with its dots are shown in red. And you can't really see the user-defined one because the first sample is basically right on top of the user-defined. So when we flip over to the next one, this is, I believe, the 66th realization in this simulation. You can now see the red dots, the red curves, and the user-defined. And you can see that it is actually a sample that is outside of the 90% confidence bound there. So that in order to produce the 90% confidence, you should expect runs outside of it as well. All right, next, the next simulated input plot type is the volume frequency curve parameters. So there's, of course, when we're running uh, LP3 frequency, there's three parameters you can look at. It's the mean, standard deviation, and skew. So the plot shows the user-defined values that were input uh, for the parameter at the top of the, of the box there, and along with the histogram and the confidence interval for the values that were generated during the simulation. So the plot... The plots are a, a compilation of the results over all the realizations. So the option to toggle through is grayed out because it just represents all of them. So you're not looking at the individual ones, right? The third uh, plot here, the third type is the flood seasonality. So flood seasonality input plots compared, compare the simulated flood seasonality in red with the flood seasonality analysis that was calculated based on the user inputs in black. So when you run an expected frequency curve or the median frequency curve simulation, there will be only one flood seasonality plot available. Uh, when you run the full uncertainty simulation, then the comparison will be available for each realization. So up there you can see in the little box there's a hundred different ones you can fil filter through on this one. The fourth type is the starting stage duration. Uh, the sample starting stage in the format of the stage duration curve can be viewed by month of each realization. The plot shows the stage versus the percent of time exceeded for each realization by month. 
of course. So the red points represent the sampled curve for each realization and the black solid line represent the user input starting stage duration. Hopefully you're catching the black line as your user defined information and, and the red is the simulated. That's gonna be the consistent theme here. So like flood seasonality, if you run the expected and median frequency, um, the plot will only display one curve for each month uh, because again, there's only one realization. Whereas if you run the full uncertainty, you'll have them for each realization. So finally, the last type is the inflow hydrographs. Um, so each for each realization, the histogram plot compares the relatively relative frequency of the user specified hydrograph shapes in black with the sampled relative frequency of the hydrograph shapes in red. So this figure shows the simulated hydrograph shapes for realization 14. So in this sample, the 1889 hydrograph shape was given more weight by the user, resulting in it being sampled more frequently uh, during the simulation. So again, useful, uh, again, unless the full uncertainty simulation is run, there's only gonna be one figure available uh, because there's only one realization.